it's Samantha again, and today I'm going to be talking about my rare genetic mutation. That makes it sound way cooler than it actually is, but whatever. If you don't know this, there are some types of genetic mutations that increase people's risk of getting cancer at some point in their life. Some mutations are more common than others, so there's a lot more known about them. For example, for breast cancer, there's the BRCA gene that people talk about a lot. That's the reason why you sometimes know people that have families that have a lot of people that have had breast cancer in them because they could just have this gene that just makes them a lot more likely to get it. One of the first things that happened after I found out I had cancer was they took some of my blood and they sent it off to a lab so that they could test it against all of these genes to see if I had any of them. Okay, the words my doctor said to me were, I love doing this because these things usually come back negative and we can stop worrying about it. And that's probably the, oh, the one thing that he's said to me that has actually really annoyed me. And it was the first day I met him so it wasn't a good start because I was kind of like, don't talk to me about statistics right now. I have breast cancer and I'm 22. I defy all the statistics. So when they got my genetic results back, they told me that I did not have this BRCA mutation. And that was really good because that's a really high risk uh, mutation that can happen on that gene. I definitely did not want to have that mutation because it definitely increases your risk for breast cancer. But they did find another mutation on the CHECK2 gene. This mutation is a lot more rare, so there's not that much research out there about it. Basically what they found on it is that it could increase your risk of breast cancer. So a typical female will have a 12% chance of developing breast cancer at some point in their life. And if you have this gene, you now may have a 25 to 40% chance of it. Basically, I already have breast cancer and they know that already about me. But since I have this gene, it could mean that other people in my family have it. Well, it definitely means other people in my family have it. Basically, this would have to be passed down from either my mom or my dad. The first thing they needed to do was test all of my siblings. If they have it, then they could have a higher risk of getting cancer. This gene also increases your risk of getting colon cancer from 5% to 11%. So my brothers also will need to get tested at some point. They recommend that if you have this gene, you go in for a colonoscopy when you're 40 instead of 50 and you know, more, you just go in to get checked more often. My sister also had to get tested because She's a girl, so she's at more risk for breast cancer. I'm gonna read what it says exactly. So you should get a yearly breast MRI with contrast in addition to mammograms starting at 40 years of age or 10 years prior to the earliest diagnosis in the family, but not typically before the age of 25. So I got breast cancer when I was 22, so I don't really know what that means. <laughs> anyway, my sister's older than me, so she was like, all right, I'm gonna go in and get a mammogram now. And then my parents both had to get tested because we needed to figure out whether my mom has it or my dad has it. Whoever has it, the other one doesn't have it, or whoever doesn't have it, the other one has it. They need to figure that out for them because then they'll know if they have an increased risk of cancer. And also because I have cousins and all of my cousins are girls. <laughs> So the doctors looked at the family histories on both sides and usually with genetic mutations they can look at the family histories and they can say, okay, you're probably one that has the gene. But since both sides of my family don't have that much cancer in them, they were kind of like, I have no idea which one of you has this gene. So they ended up both getting tested. I don't really know why because we know that they're my real parents and really only one of them needed to get tested. They found out that my mom does not have the mutation and my dad does. So that basically means that my whole dad's side of the family now needs to go and get tested to see if they have this gene to see if they need to get tested for cancer earlier than they normally would. Yeah, so that's fun. I'm gonna do my best to try to explain this, but I don't really know that much about it because, well, not even the people that are supposed to know about it know about it. <laughs> First of all, like I said, this is a rare genetic mutation. There's lots of different variants. The variant that I have is even more rare than the common variant. <laughs> that means there's basically no research on it. <laughs> there has been a lot of testing on a different variant of this gene that is more common than the one that I have. And they're basically using all the research they have on that variant to give all this information. So basically this isn't a mutation that will cause cancer necessarily, it's just the CHECK2 gene is supposed to prevent tumors from developing further, so if there's a problem with that, then it could 
not work as well and if there's already cancer there, it's not gonna do a good job of stopping that from occurring. It could be the full reason why I have cancer so young or it could not have anything to do with it. It's a likely pathogenic mutation. This mutation likely contributed to her diagnosis of breast cancer but may not be the sole cause. Yeah, so they have no idea basically. They don't know that that likely contributed but this says that I'm supposed to continue my cancer treatment and now get a colonoscopy when I'm 40 instead of 50 or 60 or whenever you normally get them. <laughs> yeah, so that's what's going on in my life. I found out about cool mutations. It's a little bit frustrating because obviously I would like to know more about it and there's just not research on it. This also affects me in that it could get passed along to my future children someday too. But yeah, that's some fun information that cancer patients have to go through. They have to check and see if they have genetic mutations so they can warn the rest of their family. It's just another way that me having cancer affects everybody around me. <laughs> Yay! I personally think that this has nothing to do with my breast cancer diagnosis because if it did, then there would be way more of a family history of breast cancer. People in my family that have gotten breast cancer were smokers, so that's probably the reason they got breast cancer, not this gene. <laughs> and no one, no one in my family has gotten breast cancer when they're 22. But yeah, I hope you found this video interesting. I kind of think it's a little bit interesting, but yeah, I understand why it's not because there's not that much research on it and I basically didn't tell you anything, but yeah. If anyone watching this has this gene, comment down below, we can be best friends. <laughs> no one's going to have this. <laughs> if you want to know more about the CHECK2 gene or mutation, Google it and then let me know what information you find on it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and check out some of the other videos that I've done. Subscribe to my channel to follow along with my cancer adventures and follow me on Instagram to follow along more with my cancer journey. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Bye.